Honorable, let him go out. Let him leave the chamber. Out of the chamber. Sergeant at arms. Sergeant at arms. Justin Bedan Njoka Muturi, ndiye speaker wa saba wa bunge la kitaifa, akiwa ofisini tangu mwaka 2013. Yeye ndiye speaker wa kwanza kuhudumu kufuatia kubuniwa kwa bunge la kitaifa na lile la seneti kulingana na katiba ya mwaka 2010. Leo imekuwa siku ya mwisho kwa Justin Muturi katika ofisi hii ya speaker wa bunge. Muturi amesema kuwa kikatiba kazi yake ilikuwa wazi. Mimi nilikuwa ile kile nilikuwa nafanya nilikuwa ku kuhakikisha kuna nidhamu katika katika nyumba ya bunge si haikuwa kitu jambo la langu binafsi ama nini na mimi kawaida yangu nikishamaliza ile ambayo nilikuwa nafanya kama ilikuwa kama sheria inasema fanya hivi nikishafanya hata kama ni wewe nikisema utaandikwa viboko kadhaa kama ni hivyo sheria inasema mimi nimemaliza kazi yangu si ndio hiyo wengine wale wakaenda kunyorosha hiyo viboko si wengine mimi kazi yangu itakuwa kuamuru wewe viboko e, ucharatu wewe mijeredi kiasi sasa nikishamaliza hiyo simi na kazi yangu inaishi hapo mbali na kazi yake spika muturi alipoanza wengi walitilia shaka utenda kazi wake about Justin Muturi uh, we met in the 12th parliament uh, i had have had the occasion to interact with him sometimes a bit closely uh, what i remember him is you know in his first election is a bit contested and when we got into the house some of us who are on the different political persuasion we had a different view of him and we thought you know he would only favor people from one particular side or not i think he was uh, very balanced in the house except in the last few days when now he moved to kenya kwanza and the political heat had uh, taken a certain uh, direction so of course emotions were high but i think he largely steered the house uh, family he had a firm grip he had a very good understanding of how the house rules of head he he's an expert in understanding orders uh, he's uh, I, i think he did a good job wabunge waliokuwa bungeni chini yake wakimiminia sifa tele na niseme speaker mturi alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa alijitahidi sana kuleta bunge pamoja unajua bunge tulipokuja uh, kumi na moja ilikuwa imesambaratika na wabunge wali alijaribu sana ya pili Jasri Muturi alikuwa ni mtu wa wabunge. Mm -hmm. Aliangalia uh, maslahi ya wabunge, mm -hmm. alihakikisha kama ni miswada, miswada wa wabunge imepawa kipao mbele mm -hmm. na akahakikisha wabunge uh, wamekuwa responsible katika ili bunge. Na la tatu he was a very firm speaker. Akichukua msimamo ulikuwa ni msimamo. Mbunge wa Mvita Muhammad Ali anakumbuka Muturi kwa aina yake. Kwa uzuri wake mimi nakumbuka alikuwa ni mtu alikuwa na hekima na subra hususan kwa viongozi sisi wapya ambao bado hatukuwa tumeelewa vile bunge inaenda. Nakumbuka kuna wakati mmoja bunge ilitaka kuniadhibu eh, kwa sababu ya kwenda kuzungumza nje na watu kama akina Junet Mbadi walikuwa wamesukumia ni niadhibiwe nikose mshahara ya kama mwezi sita hivi. Eh, lakini speaker kwa hekima yake aliangalia akaona bado ninajifunza kukua katika bunge kwa hivyo hakuchukua uamuzi wa haraka na kunihukumu kwa sababu walikuwa na shinikizo na watu kwa hivyo mimi alikuwa na hekima fulani ya kujaribu kusaidia vijana ambao waliingia katika ilo bunge wabunge sasa wana matarajio kuwa baada ya speaker Justin Muturi kuwa noa katika bunge la 12 wako tayari kuwasilisha miswada na kuitetea bila uoga na kuzingatia sheria fika ambaye anaingia ambaye bila shaka atakuwa ni Moses uh, Masiha Wetangula ni mzee mwenye busara hikma amekuwa katika bunge e, tangu mwaka 1993 Eh, nadhani nilikuwa darasa la sita amekuwa na tajriba ya uongozi katika wizara mbalimbali katika serikali ni mtu ambaye atakuja kusawazisha and one of the things he said that uh, i think still holds for me to date he told me one 
ensure you are extremely loyal to your party. Do not betray your party, do not betray your people. Even as you make friends from outside. At that time, I think he was referring to himself because he was on the Jubilee side, I was on the ODM side. He said, do not betray your party. And I said, no, I cannot betray my party. I just told him I want you to, as my speaker, to come. And I also, he also took me through very many things. He told me wins and losses in a political field does not mean the end of your political career. Whenever you fail, you dust yourself, lift yourself up, try and find out what are the issues that didn't go right for you. And I have seen that happen for him. I hope my next move will be uh, in a situation whereby I will participate in the, in the implementation of the many programs uh, that uh, we have committed to the people of Kenya. About uh, almost 10 years as a member of parliament, and then I've done 10 years as a speaker. So I a serikali on three arms. So there is an arm of government where just the Muturi has not been to. So uh, let's, let's, let's look that direction. Bunge la kitaifa limepitisha zaidi ya miswada mia moja rubaine kati ya mia tatu rubana mbili ambayo imewasilishwa huku takriban mia moja kumnane ikiwa imeidhinishwa kuwa sheria huku mengine ishirina sita ikishugulikiwa katika seneti. Na ni dhahiri kwamba speaker wa bunge la 12 Justin Muturi aliweza kuwa na ma, mema na mazuri katika bunge hili wengi wakisema kwamba alikuwa na msimamo mkali ambao alikuwa anahakikisha kwamba kulingana na sheria eh, miswada imeza kupitishwa kama inavyostahili. Nikiripotia Mwanga wa Ebru kutoka majengo ya bunge. Mimi ni Ode Francis.